their ideal is sport inclusive for all. But how to balance that with fairness and sporting integrity? For World Athletics, it means no transgender women being allowed in female events. The decision was taken in consultation with a number of stakeholders, including 40 member federations, our coaches, our athletes, and through the Athletes Commission, as well as a range of other community groups, including trans groups, UN experts, the International Olympic Committee, and para-athletics. There are athletes now who feel excluded and discriminated against. What is your message to them as they feel this pain, perhaps? That, that the decision that the council made is a primarily principled-based decision, and that is the overarching need to protect the female category. This is what our sport is here to do, uh, and I think the council has done that today. This ruling only covers world ranking events, and World Athletics says there are no transgender female athletes currently in international competitions who've been through male puberty. But the impact of the decision resonates beyond sport. As a population group, trans women are not a threat to women's sport. Trans women are still hugely underrepresented uh, across uh, all levels of women's sport. It is true that trans women maintain some physical advantages over cis women, but these advantages have not led to overrepresentation. World Athletics had initially preferred basing entry to the female category on blood testosterone levels for trans athletes, but ultimately there was no widespread support for that. Also rejected was having a new open category. That did find backing at this track where hopefuls dream of competing at the 2024 Paris Olympics. As we know, the men's times are so much faster than female times. So I think um, already you kind of know that they would have some sort of physiological advantage over the female athletes. Um, so I do think it would be better to have an open category and become inclusive as to have no category at all. This is a landmark ruling for sport, a tougher decision than anticipated. Ultimately, World Athletics has followed swimming and rugby in deciding only those female at birth can compete in women's events. Other sports, including football, are still reviewing their transgender eligibility policies. World Athletics will continue to consult transgender athletes and could review its decision. But for now, ensuring an unfair sporting advantage is not gained has been prioritised over inclusion.